In this video, we're going to go over how to set up a self-service development environment. So what we'll end up doing is creating a team. After that, we'll create users and then we'll create a couple other things. So we'll start out with a team and what we're going to do is create a dev team. This is where we're going to put our development users and this is what we're going to assign to our project. All right, and then we'll save those changes and we're going to go ahead over to users and this is where we're going to create our dev user. So we'll create dev user. We'll assign them to the team dev team and then we'll save changes. And this is going to give us a URL that we can send to the user so that they can set up their account. All right, but next we're going to go to templates. So we're going to create a just a basic virtual cluster template. We're going to call it dev template. This is just showing that you can assign templates to a project and only allow those templates to be created. Uh, so we'll go over, head over to the project section. We're going to create a project, call it dev project. We're going to assign a team to this. It's going to be our dev team that we just created. Then we're going to go over to allow templates and we're going to specify that they can only deploy a dev template and then we'll hit save changes. And then from here, what we're going to do is go ahead and log out of the administrative account and then log in as our user so that we can see how the self-service works. So we're going to log in as dev user. And then we'll go ahead and create a virtual cluster. And we're going to use the dev template to create that. We'll just call it dev cluster. And this is important later on when we're actually using the command line to set stuff up. So we'll assign the dev team to it. And then the virtual cluster will take a few moments to come up. And then once it has, we can go ahead and start configuring our development environment using the command line. Now we're on the command line. What we need to do first is log in. So we're going to log in as our dev user. That way we can authenticate against Loft and use the Loft CLI. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to use the virtual cluster dev cluster, which will set the context for our kubectl so that we can interact with this cluster. So after that finishes running, we'll run kubectx and show the context. So we're using loft v cluster dev cluster dev project. And now we're going to get namespaces to show that we're in pretty much a brand new cluster. And now we're going to use dev pod to set up our development environment. We're going to connect this to our virtual cluster, but first we're going to set the IDE to use VS code. You could use other options if you wanted to. There are multiple different IDEs available. Next, we need to add a provider. So we're going to create a Kubernetes provider with a couple of options. We're going to point to our kube config. We're going to point to our kube context, which is going to be the virtual cluster. And then we're going to say we want to deploy this into the default namespace. Next, we're going to create a workspace and we're just going to use one of the example repositories to get it going. And what this is going to do is use dev pod up with the repository and it's going to use our VS code IDE to bring up that repository within a virtual cluster. So we've deployed this to our virtual cluster. It's going to be running as a pod. Um, it's going to let us develop within that environment. So we're doing a remote development using the Kubernetes cluster. And this may be one of the workflows one of your developers would actually use um, while they're working on a project or something like that. So let's go back to the command line. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that running within Kubernetes. So dev pod VS code remote try go. So that's just a demo showing how you can use Loft and virtual clusters to create self-service development environments for users, and then showing how you can use DevPod to quickly start working within that virtual cluster using one of the GitHub repositories that your developers are working out of. Mm -hmm.